In this video, we'll be looking at the various definitions, components, parts that are obtained from interacting with the 2D geometry called the circle. But firstly, what is a circle? A circle is a 2D path or shape or geometry that is formed when you connect the points that are equidistant from a given reference point called the center. To begin construction of a circle, you need a reference point called the center and begin drawing what's called an arc of a fixed distance from the center called the radius. With one complete round, that is 360 degrees, a circle is obtained. The length of the path drawn is called the circumference and the line connecting the center to any point on the circumference is called the radius. The radius and diameter. The center of a circle is usually denoted by the letter O. In this circle, a line is drawn from O to a point C on the circumference. The line OC is the radius and is usually denoted by the lowercase letter R. A line drawn from one point A on the circumference to another B through the center O results in a length that is twice the radius. This is called the diameter and it is usually denoted by the lowercase d. Therefore, the line AB passing through O, in other words, the line AOB, is the diameter and is double the length of the radius. Note that you can draw an infinite number of radii and diameters in a circle. Radii, arcs and sectors. Two radii, OA and OB, are drawn. The points A and B splits the circumference into two arcs, the longer one called the major arc and the smaller one called the minor arc. And that splits the circle into two parts called sectors. The sector is a slice of a circle obtained by two radii cutting it and enclosed by those radii and an arc. The larger sector, called the major sector, is bound by the radii and the major arc AB. The smaller sector, called the minor sector, is bound by the same two radii and the minor arc AB. Chord and segments. A chord is a line segment drawn from one point A on the circumference to another B that cuts a circle into two parts called segments. A segment is a region that is bounded or enclosed by a chord and an arc subtended by the chord. If the two parts are not equal as shown in this example, then the bigger part is called the major segment while the smaller part is called the minor segment. The arc on the major segment is called the major arc and that on the minor segment is called the minor arc. The major segment is thus enclosed by the chord and the major arc. The minor segment is enclosed by the same chord and the minor arc. You can draw an infinite number of chords on a circle. The longest chord that can be drawn on a circle is one that passes through the center and is called the diameter. And the diameter is twice the radius, that is two times the radius because it's two times the distance from the center to a point on the circumference and we have seen that before. Do note that chords do not produce slices of a circle like sectors. Unless, of course, the chord is drawn is the diameter, which in this case you would get two half circles called semicircles. Tangent and radius. The tangent is a line outside the circle that just touches it, that is, at its circumference but does not cross the circle. From any point outside the circle, two tangents can be drawn. For an example, from this external point P, a line can be drawn to touch the circle at this point A on its circumference, thus a tangent. Another line can be drawn on the other side from the same point P to a point on the circumference B, thus another tangent. The radii drawn to those two points A and B results in an interesting observation on the angles formed, but that will be for another video. In conclusion, from any external point, two tangents can be drawn to the circle. Any other line drawn towards the circle would cut it and therefore would not be considered tangents. Summary of what you have learnt. You should now be familiar with the following. A simple definition of a circle as a geometry that is formed when you connect the points that are equidistant from a given reference point called the center. The fundamental parts of a circle such as radius, plural is radii, diameter, circumference and arc. And you have sectors which are pizza-like slices of a circle, chords, segments which are not pizza-like slices of a circle, and finally tangents. 
And lastly, vocabulary that you should know and be able to use them in your answers such as major and minor when it comes to sectors and segments and arcs, equidistant, subtended and external point.